It was May 2020, and 16-year-old Jess Gadarova had just gotten the most exciting phone call of her life. After training in gymnastics day after day for the past 10 years, Jess had been invited to represent Great Britain in Tokyo. <gasps> she was beyond thrilled, but she didn't want to shriek too loudly. <laughs> if only the phone would ring again. You see, Jess had been training for this major international competition for the past decade with her twin sister and best friend, Jen. How could Jess possibly compete without her other half? They did everything together, practicing floor routines, cardio and strength training. They shared victories and failures, tears of joy and heartache. And now? Hello? Yes, this is Jen. Would their dream of competing internationally together actually come true? I'm Galena White, and this is Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls, a fairy tale podcast about the real life women who inspire us. On this episode, Jess and Jen Gadarova artistic gymnasts who are also twin sisters. Jess and Jen were born on October 3rd, 2004, in Dublin, Ireland. Their parents were both from Azerbaijan and emigrated to London in 2001. They moved to Dublin in 2004, so the girls benefited from many different cultural influences. They were also super active and energetic, no matter where they lived. We were crazy kids, just jumping on everything, Jess says. They tried a lot of different kinds of sports, but the one they loved the most was gymnastics specifically artistic gymnastics, which meant they prepared short routines on different equipment. They practiced diligently on the balance beam, uneven bars, beam, and vault, as well as on equipment traditionally used in men's competitions, like the parallel bars, rings, and pommel horse. And then there was the floor routine where they could really let their personality shine, combining dance moves, leaps, tumbles, handsprings, walkovers, and their incredible sense of rhythm. When the twins were 12, they moved with their parents to Ellsbury, a bustling town in South Central England. Jess and Jen became laser-focused on representing England at the highest international level. They were in awe of all the gymnasts paving the way for them, like Simone Biles, Morgan Hurd, and Ellie Black. But most of all, Jess and Jen were each other's biggest inspiration. They demanded only the best and cheered for each other the loudest. You got this! The Gadarova sisters were determined to succeed, and succeed together. Non-essential shops have... Everything changed when the pandemic happened, though. They had no idea how it would impact the sport, or what their future as gymnasts would be. Jess and Jen knew it was unsafe to train in the gym, but they needed some kind of outlet for all their fears and confusion. Getting to the mat and trying new routines together, this is what gave them purpose and hope. So they brought equipment home and practiced in their garage. Ballet, running, biking, strength training. They created dance routines, including graceful leaps and tricky spins. 
And then, in May of 2021, as the world was slowly recovering, the telephone rang with exciting news that the competitions were back. At 16 years old, Jess and Jen Gadarova were going to compete together on the largest international stage in Japan. The trip to Tokyo was spectacular. They got to be in the same arena as some of their all-time heroes. Jen stunned the audience with a jaw-dropping floor routine. Jess was like a meteor on the uneven bars, launching herself into outer space. And together, the sisters helped get Great Britain their first team medal in 93 years. Since then, Jess and Jen have gone on to win gold and silver medals at many prestigious events throughout Europe, cementing their place as elite international athletes. Perhaps most importantly, Jess and Jen have found new ways to grow and learn together. When Jess tore her ACL and Jen needed ankle surgery, they had no choice but to take a step back from training. It was hugely disappointing, and yet they had each other, which made all the difference. As Jess says, we're still young, we'll recover. We have been supporting each other massively through the highs and the lows. Whether it's the physical exhaustion of training hours and hours each day, or the mental conditioning it takes to be a professional athlete, they both know it's about so much more than what happens on any one day in an arena. And even though competitions are on hold for the immediate future, they are looking at this pause as a new kind of opportunity to face their disappointment, respect their bodies, and strengthen their bond. After all, the one medal or award only they can give each other is for best sister ever. <laughs> This podcast is a production of Rebel Girls. It's based on the book series Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. This episode was narrated by me, Galena White. It was produced and directed by Deborah Goldstein, with sound design and mixing by Real Audiobooks. The story was written by Abby Sher. Fact checking by Eliza Kirby. Our executive producers were Joy Smith and Jess Wolf. Original theme music was composed and performed by Electra Barjocki. A special thanks to the whole Rebel Girls team who make this podcast possible. Until next time, stay Rebel! <laughs>